Praise the Lord, everyone. Good morning. What a beautiful morning it is. Depending on where you are, it might be evening. <laughs> I have a friend in India, and there, if it's morning here, then it's like afternoon there. So, depending on where you are. <laughs> so anyway, I come to offer you a general general tarot reading and I always start off my readings my general readings with a scripture and I decided uh, uh, a while back to start from the beginning at Genesis and so now I find myself at Genesis chapter 4 uh, verses 8 and 9 okay and it says verse 8 Genesis 4 now Cain talked to Abel, his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and killed him. Verse 9. <laughs> Something blew on me. I'm outside <laughs> on my balcony something blew in my arm <laughs> verse 9 and the Lord said to Cain where is Abel your brother he said I don't know am I my brother's keeper am I my brother's keeper mm. interesting question well even if you're not his keeper you don't need to be his murderer you know either way right now I'm lighting my sage so I can um, sage my cards <laughs> oh boy but yeah all right fine you don't want to be the keeper of your brother well you don't need to kill him you know I'm just gonna sage my cards I don't think it's gonna stay lit But how are you today? This beautiful day. How are you? Yes, yes, yes. I pray that you're well. I'm doing well. I'm doing very well, praise God. So, let me get started with the reading. I usually start off with my angel message, so let's get these cards shuffled. If you're new to my channel, your first time watching one of my videos, please click like and subscribe. Hang around and, you know, check me out. See what my readings are like. I'm up to 56 subscribers now. I'm so excited. <laughs> I mean, I have a long way to go to reach a thousand, but I have 56 right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And our angel message to start out with is called release. Release. And it says, let go and focus on what is positive and uplifting. Positive and uplifting things. You know, it's, it's called controlling your thoughts. You know, think of things that are happy, <laughs> that are good for you. Think of things that are good for you. Let go of those negative thoughts. You know, self-hate and Jesus name, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah, let go of the negative thoughts and focus on the things that are positive. Amen. That's a nice way to start off your day. Uplift. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle my um, 
tarot deck. It makes a difference when you, um, you know, control your thoughts, you know, don't let the negative thoughts overpower you and keep you in a, in a negative place, you know, come up off of those thoughts and challenge yourself to think of you can start off by appreciating where you are and what you have and who you are and, you know, appreciate that. And once you start appreciating things, then you'll be able to have more positive thoughts. You know, because you'll start saying, you know, thank you, Lord, for this. Thank you, Lord, for that. Thank you, God, for, you know, what you have. So, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords, you can see I have lots of notes on this card. It can mean so many things, but... I tend to think that it means that you won, you're ahead of the game, and that's good, but it wasn't done in the most favorable way. Things didn't go down the way that you wanted it to go down, or it should have gone down. Things could have been handled a little differently. But you did win. You're not in a bad place. You're not in a bad place. But the other contenders, you know, they're not feeling their best. You know, you're kind of one. Your winning was overkill, perhaps. <laughs> you know, it's not a bad card. It's just saying that you won, but. Maybe not in the most effective way. You didn't win in the most effective way. And that can happen. It can happen for many reasons. And this card is an air card. So there's air energy starting us out at the bottom of the deck. Air energy. You know... We'll just leave that right there. And now we have, we had air energy. Now we have, oh, the wind is kind of coming strong. Let me protect my cards. Okay. And now we have uh, earth energy, the eight of pentacles. The eight of pentacles means that, okay, you, you've won. You have a small victory here, a small victory, but now you need to put your hands to something new, something more progressive, more fulfilling. You know, you need to work at more fulfilling ways to, to win. Good morning, Ma. <laughs> my mom is my neighbor. <laughs> And um, my next door neighbor. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I live next door to my mom. <laughs> she was just out putting the trash out. <laughs> so cute. So anyway, um, we have the Eight of Pentacles here. And with the Eight of Pentacles, they're doing construction in back of me the next block over. They're doing some construction. And I think you guys can still hear me over that loud sound. Uh, <laughs> back to the Eight of Pentacles. Um, you know, it's time to recover from um, your win, but you also lost something too in that process. Although you came out ahead, you still lost something. You may have lost trust. 
you may have lost some communication because that was an air card I mean uh, yeah an air card too a swore so you probably lost some communication trust things like that but now you have the opportunity to create you have the opportunity to explore new things and take inventory of what you do have and come up with a greater plan a much greater plan because you want to win in a victorious way you know you want your winnings to be fulfilling and not shady at all and with the nine of cups now we have water energy and with the nine of cups you can feel a sense of completion you know like the release card said the angel card said to release let go let go of what you've experienced that empty victory let go of the emptiness of it let go of it and take inventory thank God that noise went away <laughs> and um, and with the nine of cups you know go ahead and feel complete you can you can feel complete focus on positive things because you're working on getting your things together you know you're working on your home you're working on your finances you're handling your business but you know now it's time to feel a sense of completion and feel comfortable in the decisions that you make now that moving forward you will um, you know do a lot better play fair you know play fair and the Sun card has come out that's the Leo card happy birthday Leo's happy birthday so the Sun card has come out so there's hope for you even though you were maybe you know kind of struggling struggling in that battle you know the Sun is out now you know it's time to be positive you know we all make mistakes and we all have the right and the capacity to improve and do better and so it's gonna be a brighter day for you you know in this incident this may not be applying to your entire life you know this could be applying to a specific situation in your life where it was a little dirty playing going on and you came out ahead and you know maybe you've been feeling bad about it but you know it's time to let that go that bad feeling your guilt all of that let all that go now process that work through that and look forward to better days you know with the two of swords you have another air card here with the two of swords you um, you know need to make a decision you need to decide which way you're gonna go are you gonna stay down in the dumps about your mistakes or are you gonna let it go dust yourself off you know uh, think positive start working on new things start you know winning in a different way it's all up to you you can decide this so we have the two air cards the five of swords and the two of swords you know you can decide a better outcome next time this time you know a little bit of empty victory going on there but we're letting that go and we're moving on and you're deciding to do that that's a decision that you have to make forgive yourself yes forgive yourself forgive others even when they don't ask forgive others when they don't even ask you that's a part of your self-work forgiveness even when it's not asked you need to forgive for your own freedom remember forgive yourself because during that process of forgiveness and letting go of regret and all that 
you're going to feel a sense of complete. It'll prepare you for a better day. Your better days are coming. Better days are coming. Yes, they are. They are already here. Better days are already here because you're a winner. <laughs> you know, you decided to be a winner. That's a beautiful thing. And I'll, oh wow, the high priestess has come out. The high priestess has come out. And with the two of swords together, you're talking, making that decision, making the right decision. The high priestess has come out and she wants you to make the right decision. When you have to choose between good and bad and right and wrong, the high priestess, Libra energy, weighing all this stuff out, is saying, go the right way, make the right choice. And she has confidence in you that you do and will make the right choice. Yes, the high priestess came out. So I think this is um, a well scripted reading here, you know, with the tarot cards, you know, um, I'm going to go ahead and, and pull out an oracle card and see what an oracle card has to say. I just want to remind you to click subscribe and like if you're enjoying this reading, if it resonates with you at all. Or if you think it may resonate with your love partners, your love interest, you know, your partner or one of your partners, you may say, oh, this really hits home with that person, you know. So we have the, the, the star card, the star card, and we have the two, four, six, two, four, six, the six of hearts. So put your heart into this victory of yours and the new direction that is taking you. You needed the victory to take you into this new direction. You needed it and you got it. Now in your new direction, you can be creative, you can dream, you can imagine, you can bring things into fruition and manifestation, you know, this star card and the six of hearts is saying put all you got into it because you're having positive thoughts you're bringing in positive energy you're letting go of that negative energy from that empty sense of victory that you experienced you're letting all that go you're clearing your energy you can burn sage and if you have sage in your cabinet, you can take that sage too and put it in some water and boil it on your stove and it'll create a smoke and you just walk around your house. And I usually pour it in the, my sinks and toilets and things, you know, just keeping the energy clear all throughout my pipes, <laughs> throughout the house. <laughs> so, um... But yes, you know, this is a good time, you know, with this card and the sun card together, the stars and the sun, you have a bright future ahead of you. Good things are coming your way, but it all starts with forgiving yourself, forgiving others and empowering yourself to have positive thoughts and to put your hands to good work, good work, things that's going to um, lead to prosperity and abundance in your life, in your pockets, <laughs> you know, in your love. Okay, the noise is coming back. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off this reading with the uh, take charge of your life. You got to take charge. That's exactly what we've been saying the whole time. What a beautiful way to end this reading. Take charge. Leadership and self-discipline are required to take control of your life. 
to be able to forgive, to be able to let go, and to be able to create something new. You have to take charge. You got to be in control. You got to really know what you're doing. You got to put your work into it. Use that earth energy and put your hands to work. Put your thinking cap on. Think your way out of, into goodness. Think your way into the goodness. Amen. Well, thank you all for tuning in with Dr. Leisha the Preacher. And again, click subscribe, like, and if you'd like to leave a donation to my channel, uh, my cash app is dollar sign dr. Dr. Leisha the Preacher, just like my channel. You all have a blessed day. Thank you. Bye.